Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Kitchen. I am your host Nancy Majulin and this show is all about the art of plant-based cooking meets the science of nutrition. You will learn how to veganize your favorite dishes and I am so excited so let's get cooking. Today's show is going to be all about breakfast. How to take your all-time favorite scramble egg um, bacon breakfast and um, make it plant-based. So basically we're going to start off, you're going to on low heat, you're going to put, um, you're going to chop one or two onions and some garlic. And the thing about garlic and onions is that they're antimicrobial and antiviral. So what does that mean? That actually means if you feel like you're coming down with a cold, means in increase your um, intake of onions and garlic. What I do most of the time is if I feel I'm coming down with a cold, I'll just juice a couple of garlics uh, with my, uh, you know, with, with the other stuff that I'm juicing. This breakfast is, okay, high protein, low fat, and gluten free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bit of water instead of oil. I have filtered water here, and the reason why, because I wanna keep my oil intake, um, I wanna minimize my, my oil intake. So while that's sauteing, we're going to saute it for a couple of minutes, roughly two minutes, and then you're going to add red peppers. Red peppers are amazing. They are high in vitamin C, and, um, and vitamin C, as you know, it's an important antioxidant, and it helps for collagen, so it's good for skin health, for those connective tissues. So we're going to Add the pre-chopped red peppers. There you go. Looks like we gotta put the heat up a bit more. The next ingredient that I'm gonna add in this tofu scramble are mushrooms. Honestly, mushrooms are superfoods, and I think it's gonna be the next thing for uh, this year. It's gonna be all about mushrooms, and. Here's mushrooms. This is simple white button mushrooms. And you know, people think that your reishi mushroom or your, um, what's the other popular, uh, shiitake mushroom is, you know, a superfood. In essence, all mushrooms are superfoods. So you get um, B vitamins, which is your energy vitamins. You get zinc, which is a powerful antioxidant. You also get, um, you also get iron. And a lot of times when people go plant-based, they, you know, they, they're worried that they're not gonna get enough iron. Actually, a lot of plant-based foods are high in iron. And the fact that um, we're gonna add tomatoes to this meal, it's gonna help with the iron absorption. So I'm just gonna uh, repeat that. Basically, when you cook, any foods, any plant-based foods that have iron in them, in order for your body to be able to properly absorb the nutrients, you gotta put a more acidic type of food in there. And that's why I'm adding the, the tomatoes because they are acidic. And, uh, and uh, tomatoes also have lycopene. And lycopene is red carotene, okay? And now there's more and more studies that show that the lycopene from tomatoes actually help from the inside to prevent sunburn. So probably you have heard people say, oh, lycopene helps you know, against sunburn. That's, that's why it's, um, scientists are finding out that it's working from the inside to protect you on the outside. And that's the thing with foods, right? What you put on the inside, it, it'll show on the outside. So things are starting to warm up. So we want this to be a bit more more soggy, just a bit. Unless if you like things to be more rawish, then this is perfect. The other thing I'm gonna add in here, the, the key ingredient at this point, it's gonna be tofu. And tofu is very high in protein. And I wanna show you, this is the best kind of tofu to use for, for tofu scramble. It's medium, uh, it's medium firm, as you can see, and what all I'm gonna do is I'm just, I just wanna make sure the camera gets this, I'm just gonna 
just gently break it apart, okay? And then once we stir, it's just gonna break apart more. I'm just gonna put that other piece too. Did you see how, you know, it's not too firm, it's not too soft, it's just the perfect consistency for tofu scramble. And as I start stirring this, it's gonna start to break apart. Okay, so we don't want it to just crumble into pieces. We, we, you know, we still want like decent chunks of it while we're cooking. Okay. Now the other ingredient that I'm gonna add into this, which is gonna give the color of, of the, um, the scramble eggy, the yellowish color is turmeric. So in here, I have some turmeric and turmeric is a powerful anti-inflammatory. And now there's more and more studies that are showing the benefits of turmeric. There's a lot more cap, a lot more um, supplements being sold of turmeric. It just seems like people are finally getting on board this powerful superfood, which has been used in Indian culture in Ayurveda for thousands and thousands of years. I also have some pepper in here and I put um, cayenne peppers or paprika. I love spicy food, so I'm all about the spices. Spice up your life, people. <laughs> so here you go. As you can see, it's starting to have that nice yellowish color, and it's starting to look more and more like scramble, like scramble um, eggs, which is, but it's not. Another thing I'm gonna add is lemon juice. I just find that lemon makes things taste better. It makes this, it brings this, this dish to a whole different level. So here we go. And it's also gonna help with the iron absorption, right? The iron absorption of the, um, of the mineral that's in, in the mushrooms. So here you go. And now what we're gonna do right before we go to commercial, I'm gonna add the spinach. And I'm just gonna add the spinach at the end only because we want to keep as much as possible of the nutrients. And we know spinach cooks fairly quickly with steam, so we're just gonna add that at the end so we don't overcook it. Here you go. And okay. I don't know if you can see how it's starting to all come together. There we go. See, it's starting to look like tofu scramble. And we know that uh, leafy greens are high in calcium. A lot of people say, you know, as a plant-based eater, where do you get your calcium? Well, leafy greens are full of calcium. Okay, and now we're gonna go to break, and when we come back, I'm gonna show you how to veganize your bacon. We'll be right back. <laughs> 